when I walk up in the club and sing Everybody want to know my name Yeah, here comes the glass roll Yeah, here comes the glass roll Morning. I was just watching Ryan Zink on Fox News, Z-I-N-K-E. He was an, the Interior Secretary, um, which means he was a cabinet member. He is running for Congress from Montana. He sounds like he's like the next president of the United States. He's so smart. Trust me, he's a, he's a Navy SEAL veteran. He, he has experience with the Russians, trust me. I know about the Russians, I, I fought with them in Kosovo. The only thing the Russians respond to is strength. That's the only thing that will ever, uh, will ever stop the Russians. Like, we gotta stop this whole climate change shit. Like, this is all about, well, he didn't say shit, but he, he actually sounded like very practical. And um, he sounded like a guy that like, um, everyone wants to have in charge. So, do I think Ryan Zink has any clue what he's talking about? whatsoever. I think in no possible universe does that guy have any clue what he's talking about. Like this is a military expert who is like the last thing I would ever call an expert on the military. So like when like we're Americans and we're like, trust me, he's a Navy SEAL. He's, he, he knows what he's talking about. This guy knows the Russians. Okay. I was just listening to a guy that was like one of the top oil people in Russia who is living in England now and what he said in the, he said, like more than anything, Russia is not afraid of NATO, I promise. In no freaking world is Russia afraid of NATO. And I think that NATO has this thing that's like, everyone's so, so afraid of us, so afraid of us. It's like, no, they're not. Like, you'd be surprised. They understand that a war with you is different, but it's like, trust me, all we gotta do is put some troops outside of Ukraine and we'll be fine. Russia's losing, Russia's losing, this is working. Lloyd Austin knows Russia's losing because Lloyd Austin literally said, someone told me I need to tell the Ukrainians they're winning. The Ukrainians need to know they're winning. If the Ukrainians don't know they're winning, they're not gonna fight as well. So like, I'm, I, I'm just saying like, that's the reality about the United States is like, people like have a, a policy of lying, like your job is lying. Like, you're, you want to be with us? You want to be on our team? You're going to have to lie. And um, that's that's the real situation with, like, being a member of the United States government is, like, the pol what's our policy? We're lying. So my understanding is that people need to talk about me now because, like, everyone has been spying on the police and the district attorney's office. And the district attorney's office, my understanding, and my craziness is, like, Everyone keeps saying that he's under arrest. Like he is under arrest. This is, he is in custody. He is under arrest. Like, and like people have been listening to them, like having conversations about me being under arrest that much that the United States government is trying to figure out how to talk. And my understanding is like the, the talking is even at this point, we're going to lie. And like, that's like the whole strategy is we're going to lie. And so like lying is fine if you keep me out of custody, but I think that long term lying is bad. Like at some point you guys are gonna have to say, here's the actual truth. And I am telling the truth because I need to do time. And like, I understand I broke the law. And like, I think that a lot of people are going, like my, my understanding is like at the end of this, everyone's gonna say, Joe Biden is not going to jail. And like my understanding is that like everyone is fairly certain it's the Republican, like the Republican National Committee, it's the people in charge of the Republican Party, it's the Republicans in Congress, they're the ones that committed election fraud when I was running for president, they're the ones that have been like doing like, like assassinating people so much, like they're the ones that have been doing so much crazy shit extra judicially. And uh, the Democrats are going to be the ones that aren't actually in trouble, except for Michael Bennett. Like, my understanding is that Michael Bennett's job has been lying. Like, he, like, uh, Higginlooper decided to stay out of it. Michael Bennett somehow, like, got, like, became the guy that's, like, job was lying for the government. And, like, Michael Bennett's, like, I, I, I called him just recently. And he hasn't, like, no one's contacted me from his office. Like, everyone's ignoring me from the government. Um, and, like, my understanding is he'd been lying to his office. And so, like... 
his office is angry about like this whole situation. I don't know. I think I need to call Higginlooper. My understanding is Higginlooper was gonna wanted to stay out of it completely because like he was super worried about it. For some reason, Michael Bennett wants to be in on it, but that's Michael Bennett's really good friends with the Jewish governor whose office is running all the Molly. Um, so my ex-girlfriend, uh, for people at the governor's office that know her, um, is she pretty fucked up in the head? Like, my understanding is that, like, certain people have watched her for years, and she's always in my head, and they're always uncomfortable with the fact that, like, this guy's ex-girlfriend's always in his head, and she's always, like, fucking with him. Like, she's, she's the person that always convinces me to lie. Like, to say something, like, that is so infuriating, that's a lie. Like, theoretically, if, what's her name, Michaela Skinner, like is not the girl that I knew. And like that whole situation I explained with like um, Michaela Skinner potentially being the aggressor with Larry Nassar. Like that is such an infuriating, infuriating thing that like, um, that's the type of thing that she's convinced me to like literally lie about. Like, it's like, like I'm gonna make sure he lies. And like, it, it, for, for a lot of people like, they think she hates me. Like, your ex-girlfriend hates you. Like, you don't even know. Like, she hates you so fucking much. Like, she was trying to ruin your plants the whole time. Like, it was like they made her help you. Like, like you don't even realize how much, like, she was, like, trying to, like, fuck up your ability to have any weed at all. Like, she just wants you to yield nothing. Because she wants you to grow low yielders. And, like, the moment you started getting into, like, decent yielding plants, she got bothered by it. Like, you don't even know, like, what, what the real situation is because you don't know it's her. And, like, that that's kind of, like, what, I, what I've heard about her, the situation with her. Like, do I think she's kind of crazy? I think she's batshit crazy. Like, seriously, like, that, like, like, her and me, like, everyone, like, I don't know how our relationships are. Like that, like, I think that everyone, like, is, is going, you don't have a relationship with these people in your head. Like, you, you, don't, you don't know. It's like, I don't think you guys get it. It's like, there's something that's like, I know. Like, I know what my life's like. Like, I'm on the ground. Like, people don't have to talk. Like, you can always have a bug and still, like, <laughs> make sure, like, someone knows. Like, you can never talk and still know. Because your eyes can see shit. But then it's like, well, you're hallucinating. Maybe. The only reason I think that is because the police are about to put me in a mental hospital to keep themselves out of jail. And, like, but, like, I've known for a long time, like, the police, I've said it before, they're a criminal organization. Like, the federal agents, like, they are like the mafia, but they have the law on their side, and, like, they're not, but, like, they're like the mafia, but, like, with Boy Scouts in charge. <laughs> so, it's, it's better that way. All right, so, um, yeah, Ukraine's fucked. Do I think that the war has even started in Ukraine? Um, not even slightly. So when everyone's like, the war's over, Russia lost. The war's gonna work. Like, Vladimir Putin, like, everyone thinks this, this is just like, out of nowhere, this is stop NATO. It's like, it's gonna stop a lot of fuel from flowing. Like, it's gonna save Russia a lot of oil. That's, that's my actual opinion. I think Russia, like, has been very aggressive about their um, energy security um, for, for years. And I might have started that because I've known Russia knows about me. And r the Russian news, like, let me know they know about me. And, like, their stance on oil is we're going to have oil security and Russia is our – and Ukraine is a threat to our oil security. But I was hearing this – I, I listened to this Russian um, – like, he, they call him an oligarch. He was the top of the Russian oil business uh, who was in England, and he was talking about Ukraine. He was saying that, like, I'm from Ukraine. Like, it's really uncomfortable. This is a civil war. Like, people don't realize, like, this war is a civil war. Like, everyone's acting like it's not. And, like, the reality is, like, I think that, that Russians aren't, like, super eager to go kill the Ukrainians, but they're also super eager to make sure they have energy security. And, like, they're the only ones thinking ahead. The Americans are going, no, fuck energy security. We don't believe in that. Like... The Americans will fuck everything in their security because, like, all they know how to do is, oh, trust me, we'll put we'll put troops on the border. I'm Ryan Zinke. I, I, I'm a Navy SEAL. I'm so smart. I'm smarter than everyone. I've shot so many people. You have no idea how many people I've killed. I'm so smart. And, like, yeah, dude, like, you are a person that, like, everyone knows should be in charge because you sound like you're smart. And, like, you're the last person who should be in charge. But, hey, um, I'm sure you're going to win. Like, because of course you are.